such as Redivis RT97 radio repeater. It is a portable repeater. Center frequency can be customized. You can also purchase the frequency that Redivis writes. U.H.F.R.V.H.F is optional. The frequency difference is 510MHZ optional. Support sub audio. CTCSS, 50, DCS, 104 pairs. Control panel adjustable channel. Small size, 310 283 170 mm. Weight 2700 G. Support 220 V mains. DC 12 V 24 V mobile power, car power. It is suitable for concerts, outdoor walks, small factories, farms and other scenes. These scenarios are not very demanding on relays. Mainly need a temporary erection. Or in the open area, the requirements for the relay station are not high. Using the Redivis RT97 is fully capable of doing the job. And the price of the Redivis RT97 is very affordable. How to choose the antenna position? Everyone knows that the higher the erection, the better. The antenna should be installed in the highest building or on the hill in the area of use. The closer this location is to the center of the area of use, the better. The specific height of the erection is also a little tricky. High energy for antenna mounting. Can be seen with the eyes. The edge of the repeater signal coverage area. This height is the most appropriate. And also, in the specific environment of erection, the antenna remains the highest. Don't let objects such as walls, billboards, barbed wire, etc. block the signal transmission of the antenna. The antenna is preferably 2 to 3 meters higher than these objects. What is the distance between the repeater and the antenna? The repeater should not be too far from the antenna. The radio repeater and the antenna are connected by a feeder. There is a certain loss in the transmission of radio signals in this feeder. The longer the antenna, the greater the loss. Therefore, the radio repeater is installed to be convenient for maintenance. Position as close as possible to the antenna. How to estimate the system call distance. After the radio repeater erection plan is formulated, you can calculate the communication distance of the system radio. Practical formula for radio wave transmission loss engineering. LM decibel equals 88.1 plus 20 LG F20 LG H1 H2 plus 40 LG D. The above practical formula is limited to the V.H.F 150 MHz and U.H.F 400 470 MHz frequency bands. And the terrain relief height is about 15 M. And the communication distance is within 65 km. System Wireless Device Communication Distance Calculation 1. Assume known conditions. 2. System Gain of Repeater and Walkie Talkie. The system gain is the maximum value of the attenuation allowed by the intercom to transmit the signal to the repeater receiver. If cable loss and antenna gain are not considered, system gain decibel equals transmit power, dBm, receive sensitivity, dBm. If the cable loss and antenna gain are considered, the gain of this example system is 3. Judgment of whether communication can be established. If the system gain is equal to the loss of radio transmission, it means that the radio wave energy of the communication distance has reached the limit. If the system gain is less than the transmission loss, the communication may not be established. Substituting the system gain into the electrical wave transmission loss engineering formula. 4. The system's conservative call distance. The above formula only calculates the conservative distance that the uple ink signal. The intercom is sent to the repeater for communication. The distance that the downlink signal, the repeater sends to the intercom, can be covered. Usually because the radio repeater has a large transmit power. The downlink signal is often better than the communication distance of the uplink signal. Since the system call is two way. Therefore, the conservative call distance of the system is often calculated based on the above signal.